I am Dr. Bharat K. Kadadi, Consultant, Hand and Upper Limb Surgeon, Manipal Hospital, Malayshwaram. So today I will be talking about uh, elbow injuries. So after road traffic accidents, commonly after bike accidents, you might have seen the youth falling from the bike and it's called a fall on the outstretched hand when they can very commonly sustain injury to the elbows. So in, if you see the fall on the outstretched hand, the line of injury can be either in the wrist and then the forearm, elbow, clavicle, shoulder and then henceforth. So elbows are very important because if you want to reach something, reach any object, if you want to write, if you want to hold and lift anything, so the elbows are very important, it's a hinge joint, the elbow movements are very very crucial and even if you want to have your day to day meal like breakfast, lunch, dinner or drink a glass of water, so elbow is very important because if you don't have movements from the elbow, it's extremely difficult for you to do your routine activity. So this, the, if you see the elbow, the, flex, the range of flexion is around 140 degrees to 0 extension, it's 180 degrees if you can call, it's straight elbow. So these injuries, the elbow injuries can be either a soft tissue injuries or a bony injuries. So bony injuries, the moment the patient comes, we do an x-ray, have the invariably there will be some swelling, tenderness, ecchymosis, edema. So depending on the nature of the pain, depending on the severity of the injury, we initially advise what you call a x-rays, basic x-rays where you can be able to see injury to the fracture of the lateral condyle, fracture of the middle condyle or even the fracture in the distal humerus intercondyle region or there could be fracture of the olecran arm or there could be fracture of the radial head. On the other side, we have a patient where the x-ray is normal but they still have pain and instability. That means they are not be able to hold an object and lift, they are not able to do their movements. So these are the patients, you must suspect soft tissue injuries because elbow, the only Stability in the elbow is the soft tissue. You can see the on the lateral side you have the lateral collateral ligament. It has got its own complex, the lateral ulnar collateral and the lateral radial collateral ligament. On the middle side you have the middle collateral ligament which attaches from the middle epicondyle to the coronary process and which has got three bundles, the anterior posterior and the oblique bundle. It's very important. And then you have the muscles, the brachial list muscle and the biceps on the anteriorly along with the capsule and posteriorly you have the triceps muscle which is responsible for elbow extension. So once you diagnose instability in elbow injuries, you always subject them to a MRI scan. So with that you will be able to show us which is the injury, the middle collateral, lateral collateral injuries. And many of these patients in a purely soft tissue injuries, they get missed out for or neglected for two months, three months. They don't realize that they have a problem. Then they come back after two months, three months and then we do a scan, then see it's unstable and the ligaments are injured. So both the soft tissue as well as the bone injuries are ideally repaired at the, uh, treated at the best at the same time. A stable elbow, undisplaced fracture which we treat with a plaster or a cast for 3 to 4 weeks and then start physiotherapy. A unstable elbow or a displaced fracture, we always do a x-ray and then if required we do a CT scan to see the personality of the fracture, study the fracture. Elbow being a, the fracture around the elbow being a intraarticular, so it's important to reduce the fractures well and fix them. So we got a very good quality implants nowadays to fix the elbow fractures, the lateral condyles, the middle condyles, the olecran fractures, the radial head uh, fractures. You can fix with the plate, plate and screw. And once you fix them, fix them stable with good stability, and restore the articular congruity, we can mobilize them as early as possible. Say 48 hours to 72 hours, we can mobilize and get back the full range of movements. The problem with the elbow is we have to remember that it's prone for stiffness. There's something called a myositis ossificans where a new bone formation can happen in the elbow which lead to stiffness. I happened to treat a lady recently which who had a three year old injury with a right hand elbow which is straight, not able to flex, not able to eat her daily food. Somebody has to help her to have her daily meal. So this patient uh, completely bone growth all around, myositis ossificans, there was bridging of the bone, it was ankylosed. Fortunately, the joint was intact, so we are able to operate the patient, release, it is called a global release, middle uh, over the top approach, we release the capsule, then we release the bony uh, bone formation all around the joint and also with the lateral approach, bone formation all around the joint, then we are able to get her good moment and today she is after one month of surgery, she is able to have her own meals by, uh, with her own hand. So it is so crucial that elbow, because elbow injuries are prone for stiffness, they go in for stiffness.
So that's very crucial that you, you avoid stiffness, you start early mobilization, early physiotherapy and get back the full range of movements to do your daily routine activities.